The technique that we're showcasing now is called spherification and it's one of the most commonly used and one of the oldest sort of forms of molecular mixology and gastronomy if you like and the main components of it are two different chemicals one of which is called sodium alginate which is uh, derived from seaweed the other one is called calcium chloride which is a salt and the basis of it is that when a liquid is mixed with sodium alginate and then dropped or dropped into a water-based calcium chloride bath the two react creating a shell on the outside of the alginate solution remaining liquid in the center like caviar or pearls. So the type that we're going to make for today is a simple apple and honey caviar using pressed apple juice and a, uh, just a honey water which has been cut down 50-50 hot water and runny honey. Before we do that we're going to have to create first our calcium bath or our water bath into which we're going to drop a, our flavoured solution. So within here I've got one and a half to two grams of calcium chloride granules and I'm going to add into there 200 millilitres of water and I'm quite simply going to just mix these in together. So you just want to dissolve the granules into the water like so and this is going to be the base or the bath into which we're going to drop our sodium alginate solution. It's really important when creating caviars or pearls that the quantities uh, of both chemical and liquid that you use are pretty specific um, and so for this particular scenario where we're using a non-alcoholic uh, caviar the measurements that I'm giving are correct. Um, if you use something with a nevus of slightly higher acidity or something that has a mild alcohol content, the quantities of both alginate and calcium will have to either decrease or increase. So something to bear in mind. So we've created our calcium bath. You can see there that's been dissolved into the liquid. And now we're going to create our sodium alginate solution. So I'm going to begin again just with a simple rocks glass into which I'm going to add 200 millilitres of pressed apple juice and I'm going to add 30 millilitres of honey water. Now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to gradually add into this liquid the sodium alginate powder which we have here a little bit at a time. Now if we add it all at once what will happen is it will clump up you'll have this big sort of clump of sodium alginate that hasn't dissolved into the actual liquid itself and so I'm just going to gently add into this just a little bit at a time and what you'll notice is as you're doing this is that the liquid thickens it is a thickening agent but what you've got to be quite careful of is that the liquid doesn't thicken up too much uh, and become like a gel so we need it to be in liquid form to thicken slightly but for all of the sodium alginate to have been dissolved into that like so just let that dissolve in there. Now what we're then going to do is we're going to place this on the side uh, just for about an hour to an hour and a half. What that does is it allows time for all of the air bubbles which you can see which have been created just to disappear out of the liquid. Obviously when we're creating caviar we're actually trapping into the center of the sphere liquid. If there's air bubbles in there when you put that into another liquid obviously they'll rise straight to the top or float straight to the top of the glass which creates a less desirable effect. So we're going to place that to one side and we're going to produce one which we made earlier, which is this one here. This has been sat on the side for around about an hour, so it's had time for the air to disappear out of the liquid. The next step is to quite simply, and this can be done either with a syringe or with a dropper bottle like this, which I find works very well, just to gently squeeze the dropper bottle so that these small pearls are dropped into the liquid. And you'll be able to see just on top that they're forming relatively round caviars or pearls like so. And this won't need long in there. The longer that the sodium alginate solution stays in with the calcium chloride solution, the quicker basically that it will solidify. And what we don't want is a solid uh, jelly, if you like. We want it to remain liquid in the center. So we then need to strain these off. And I'm just going to pour this straight through a fine strainer like so. 
and we're left with our caviar or our pearls which are in here. Um, one very important part of the technique is that we wash these off because they'll not only have a slightly uh, sort of calcium chloride taste to them, um, they'll also continue to solidify which is not what we want. So just a clean fresh water bath into which I'm going to pour these just to wash them off. Just give them, give them a quick stir around and then once again strain these into my tea strainer like so. And what you end up with are these wonderful caviar pearls which are liquid in the center and solid on the outside which can be used in drinks such as uh, champagne and caviar or if you pour them into champagne they will rise and fall in the glass almost like a lava lamp which is a fantastic effect and when the guest bites into the caviar you'll get this explosion of flavor of apple and honey and then the dryness of the champagne or the Prosecco or sparkling wine that you're using so that is spherification.